Congrats, I'm on my way across the country. Thanks for coming with me. My name is Tara, and in 2021, I traveled across the country alone, 38 hours, 2,500 miles. To make traveling easier, I converted a Ford Transit cargo van into a camper. When the van was finished, I was finally ready to begin my journey, starting in North Carolina and ending in San Diego. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go in my cabinet and get a snack and get back on the road. It's getting dark. I'm about to be in Georgia and I don't wanna stop. I am at my grandma's tonight and tomorrow, and then um, about midday tomorrow, I go to the trail, the Appalachian Trail, to do some trail magic. I just woke up, I don't have coffee, so that's why I'm so quiet. I just can't quit you now cause I love you, yes I do. Can you guess why I am smiling and why I'm on a trail? Well, it might just be because I'm on the Appalachian Trail. I'm here to do trail magic with some friends and my mom's coming as well. The Appalachian Trail just feels like home. She just asked if she, I had a plug she could plug it into. I do. And we got some salads and some beer. And we're going to pull out the table and have us a nice little dinner. Oreos and beer. Can't oh. beat it. Right. Top to your. <laughs> Pulling out from the Appalachian Trail. Really sad, but I'm glad I was able to leave with a bang and feed 75 to 100 people. I don't know how many people we fed. So, Appalachian Trail, love you. Thank you. I don't really know where I am. I'm pretty sure I'm still in Alabama, but trucking through. Past the point of no return, baby, on the summer night. The shot of love and the spark of love to be. Starts the light and the month I'm not burned like the ground I leave. I will leave it on the next train, baby. I do believe. Come on. Let's ride this train. I'm gonna go to sleep for the night, or at least for a couple hours. I'm at a rest stop, 
in Louisiana. I think it's fine. You know how I just worry. There's just a lot of people going in and out of the bathrooms. I've only slept at a rest stop with Jonathan. I'm doing a lot, I'm doing a lot of my own these days. It's, it's a lot of my own. Um, since Jonathan's at his job training, I'm on my way to see him. But I'm doing a lot on my own these days and I'm learning to have confidence in myself. And so if I need to make up reason and to get me to get out of my comfort zone, then sure. And I know a lot of van lifers are probably rolling their eyes, talking, probably rolling their eyes and thinking, why is she being so nervous about sleeping in a rest stop? Well, I don't know because I've never done it alone. So it's always the first time for everything. And after this, just like my first time camping on my own, hopefully after this first time doing this on my own, it'll be better. And I won't have to worry about it as much. So first time for everything. First rest up stay by myself. I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night. Slept at a rest stop in Louisiana last night and it was really nice. It's pretty today and it should be great driving weather. Yeah. Let me show you this coffee I got brewing. I was just at Cadillac Ranch. You probably saw me say hi at the end of that video. There's this guy who's like sort of following me around there. He had a purple beard. I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to out there because I felt uncomfortable. You know, solo female. That's not the that's not the case. Anyone would feel weird with a guy who had a purple beard following them. <laughs> I'm ready to get back on the road. I got my HUDS burrito. I went to HUDS, I got a recommendation, and I'm ready to go. So let's do it, let's, let's drive nine hours. eight hour drive. So eight hour drive from Amarillo to Flagstaff, Arizona. I was really tired when I got here and I was like, I wanna cut my trip short, and just go straight to San Diego because it's not far from here. I mean, compared to today. After going on this hike at the base of Mount Eldon at the um, Flagstaff KOA, I'm really happy to be out of the car finally. It's gorgeous here. I love it. Today is Grand Canyon Day. I'm really excited. It's going to be gorgeous. I'm going to do a hike. Hopefully the rain holds off for quite a while. Okay. I'm gonna eat my breakfast of champions, Captain Crunch and Starbucks Frappuccino. So I'm 
gonna go on a hike. I'm gonna do, what is it called? Bright Angel Trail. It's like one of the top hikes apparently in the world. Hope you can see me. Um, I'm still on the Bright Angel Trail. It's gorgeous. I literally teared up. It's just so pretty. It's a perfect day. It's not too cold, not too hot. There's not a lot of people on the trail. It's so pretty. So I made it to the one and a half mile marker rest house. That's what they call it. Um, I'm gonna go to the three mile one because I'm feeling good and I'm in my element. I'm loving it. So that'll be a six mile day. So happy to bring y'all along too. Thanks for coming with me. the third mile rest house uh, so if I turn back now it'll be a six mile day but I'm feeling good and I kind of want to go to Indian Garden and that'll be a nine mile day for today. Made it to Indian Garden thinking about going to the plateau. I'm having so much fun I just want to keep going. I think I'm gonna do it. Six miles back up, 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 up there, all the way up there. But this has been an extraordinary adventure. I'm so glad I got to see the Colorado River and just be at the, whew, the plateau of the Grand Canyon. I mean, so pretty. Arizona's top state in my book now. It's so cool. Uh, still in Sedona. I was cleaning up my van because visiting some family. It is snowing or hailing. Um, that's my bedroom window right there. That's Sedona. Tomorrow I go to San Diego and see Jonathan. Um, I'll live there in my van somewhere uh, in San Diego. So that will be exciting. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and drive and I'll probably start videoing back up tomorrow. All right, well, I am going to go ahead and drive to Phoenix, so I will see you later, probably tomorrow, while I'm driving to San Diego.
What up, Continue Cindy? on I-8 West for 122 miles. Thank you. 